I flew over 6,212 miles to Rome, Italy to find and eat the greatest pizza in the entire world. But before I did that, I had to make sure that the best pizza in the world wasn't hiding in the United States of America. Round table. Hi there. Do you guys say you have the best pizza in the world or no? Yes. Yeah? I can say that. We got the pizza. Mountain Mike's. Did you say this pizza's pretty good? I like it. Best pizza in the world? I Thank you. Secured bag number two. Little Caesars. Would you say this pizza is the best? Uh, I mean, it's good. It's for, pretty good? Yeah. For, for the, the price? price? Okay, yeah. I respect that. Nice. Little Caesars doesn't even think their pizza is the best. How can I? Pizza Hut. Would you say this is, you guys probably have the best pizza in town? I mean, it's always different opinions. Yeah, I feel. Papa Murphy's. Hi there. Would you say it's like the best in the world or no? Uh, I probably shouldn't say my personal opinion. I'm honest answer. I'm a round table guy. Papa John's. Would you say this is the best pizza in town right here? <laughs> yeah? It is. I really? Know. Okay, all right. Domino's. <laughs> all right, deal. So with these extremely high expectations at play, let's see if any of these pizza companies live up to the title of the best pizza in the world. We'll start off with Pizza Hut. Looks like dog food presentation-wise. Let's take a bite. Nice and oily. If you slab this on your face, you can definitely get some quick acne if that's what you're looking for. I like the taste, I gotta say. Quick bite of the crust real quick. Mmm, it's thick, just how I like it. Pizza Hut pizza's pretty good, but if I were Gordon Ramsay right now, I'd throw it in the trash. That being said, it's definitely not the best pizza in the world. What about Round Table? I'm digging the texture already. Pizza looks uh, bubbly and nice and airy going on here. This looks like a nice experience to eat. Let's take a bite. Eh, not bad, but not amazing. Let's give Papa Murphy's a whirl here. What the f Look at this. Pepperoni, sauce, cheese, unleavened pizza dough on a plate. So Papa Murphy's forgot to cook the pizza, I guess. What the f It's definitely not the best pizza in the world. I have pretty high expectations for Mountain Mike's. Come on now. Not a big fan of the look, but the pepperonis look pretty delicious from afar. Let's go for it. There's something about the pepperoni on this pizza that's... Go for a little crust bite real quick. Well done, Mountain Mike's. Pretty fantastic pizza. Probably not the best in the world, though. All right, Little Caesars. Beautiful packaging. All right, I guess we have some deep dish pepperoni. Looks like it came out of a factory of some sort. Let's give it a go. I think that's pretty good. I must say, the texture of this Little Caesars pizza is quite exquisite, but the flavor is lacking. It tastes a little bland, if you will, but I still enjoy eating it for some reason. All right, what about Papa John's? Damn, this looks gourmet. Let's go for it. Yeah, snack. A little too sweet for my taste. What about the crust? No chance that this is the best. Let's see what the homies at Domino's could cook up. This thing looks thick as hell. Too cheesy. Eh, nah, definitely not Domino's. Get out of here. With no expectations, that pizza was pretty good. But if we raise our expectations to us looking for the best slice of pizza in the world, then the game changes quite a bit. If we look at things through the lens of a young Gordon Ramsay, then this right here is inadequate pizza. Honest to God, f this pizza. Now I've purchased one pizza from every major pizza company in the United States. So it looks like at this point, my only option if I wanna eat some real pizza and expand upon the third dimension of my palate, then I need to fly to the homeland of pizza. That's right, we're going to Italy, boys. All right, I made it to the airport. And as always, it looks like the entire place is to myself. I have a thick, 13 hour flight on the way. Once I endure that, however, I'm officially Tyler Oliveira International Abroad, baby. You know what that means? I'm gonna find myself an Italian wife. And also, of course, the Italian pizza. The best pizza in the entire world. A full day of travel ahead of me, but the prospect is worth it. One more 10 hour flight and I'm officially international, baby. Rome, here I come. All right, I officially made it to the faraway land of Italy. Time to get some pizza. All right, I bought a bus ticket. That should hopefully get me to the center of Rome. I don't know what I'm doing, but hopefully I get there in one piece. All right, I just took a super long bus and I ended up wherever this is, apparently in the center of Rome right now. The hunt for the greatest pizza in the world begins. Also, I'm about to hit up a few gelaterias before I leave. One more thing, it seems like the drivers here simply don't give a f about the pedestrians, or maybe the pedestrians don't have the right of way here, but cars are doing their own thing and people are just the victims. Anyways, time to go find the hotel and then I'm gonna eat some pizza for lunch. All right, I finally made it to the hotel here. I'm gonna get all my stuff booked in, get comfortable a little bit, then I'm on the pizza hunt for the best pizza, not only in Italy, but in the world. Now that I've got reservations to the greatest pizzeria of all time, I got my map here. I'm gonna find the subway, go to the Coliseum and see if I can find any hidden hole in the walls that can compete with Sephorno, the greatest of all time. 
time. All right, I've been wandering around like a buffoon for the last 50 minutes. I don't have any goddamn euros, so I can't do anything. And I can't find a ATM. Uber is $70 anywhere, man. I'm basically doing a zero euro in a foreign country challenge right now. No one can cop out a couple of euros, man. The problem is they're not gonna do anything with my cash, so all my money's useless and I have nothing to trade with. I finally understand Giorno Giovanna's dream of every man having access to euros at any given moment. These Italians, man, don't give a rat's ass when it comes to running over civilians. I was sprinting for my dear life a second ago and I almost got nailed by two Vespas, Jesus. Anyways though, you already know I made it to the promised land. Time to get some euros and this adventure will begin. So I got the euros. All right, now that I've officially got all the goods and I've got all the euros, I'm gonna find this little subway station, cruise my way into the Coliseum. I'm gonna get myself a mediocre slice of pizza to prep myself and show appreciation for the greatest slice of pizza in the world. Are you kidding me? All right, we finally made it to the subway, goddamn. Quite the lonely experience for me. All right, it looks like I found the bougier part of Italy. I'm not sure what the hell this structure is behind me. It may perhaps have a hidden pizza oasis. Turns out this entire thing is just a big tease. No pizza available. Not sure what this structure is in the distance. Looks kind of cute, I guess, but uh, definitely doesn't serve any pizza, so keep moving. This, this is history, folks. But alas, despite the grandeur of this history, I was unimpressed. I'm hungry, not for architecture, but for pizza. The big moment of truth. How's it going? Can I get a pizza? Pizza. Pizza. Ah, uh, here, please. Yeah, please. You can see. Got it. And I ordered a humble fungi pizza. I've traveled over 6,000 miles to eat this pizza. Let's give it a taste. First pizza of all time in Italy. That's f delicious. Not bad at all. Now that we've established that this pizza is pretty good, is it the best in the world? Probably not. We're gonna move on to the legitimate best pizza in the world, Siforno. All right, while well, I'm waiting for this pizza joint to open, Siforno's the best pizza in the world. I'm gonna check out this Coliseum and see if it lives up to all this hype. $12 ticket to get in this thing. They're making dumb money off this thing, man. The Coliseum, built thousands of years ago, they're still milking dry. Respectable. Homies came straight out of this little hobbit hole and battled it out to the death. Pretty impressive place, I gotta say. The fact that this hasn't crumbled in all these years. As you can see in the distance here, the Roman Colosseum has pretty impressively stood the test of time, much like the food item we've come to know and love as pizza. Despite the fact that Americans like to circle jerk on foreign tourist attractions, I think it's fair to say that this thing is crumbling right now, to be honest. And the Roman Colosseum was good foreplay visual stimulation before I had the greatest pizza in the world. So the Colosseum, as some of you might know, is apparently the equivalent of a football stadium, but instead of watching people concuss each other, they cut off each other's heads. All right, quick little gelato pre-game before the uh, big pizza day. Delicious. Only 2.5 euros, too. Actually, the more I think about it, food here has been pretty damn cheap. Maybe I moved to Italy once I learned the language. On a side note, though, the amount of stares I've gotten from this shirt, UCLA Grandpa, is pretty impressive. I've never experienced anything like it, actually. All right, at this point, I've done enough sightseeing. All I want is Soforno pizza. But before I get that pizza, I need to cross international borders. I'm almost there, trust me. All right, looks like I finally made it to St. Peter's Basilica slash the Vatican. This line is unusually thick, I must say. With that being said, once I observe this Vatican with my own two eyes, and of course find my way into this basilica, whatever that means, I'm going to indulge in this culture, in this world's greatest pizza, Siforno's pizza. Well, apparently this is as far as I can go, or homie in the back's gonna pike you. All right, I just took a brief nap. I'm recharged, I'm pissed off, and I'm ready to eat some pizza. It's time to go to Siforno's. I'm out here roughing my way through the Italian hood right now to get to this pizza joint. Not looking too good, getting dark outside, the sun is setting. I'm just trying to get some pizza in my stomach, man. I'm telling you, man, it's getting a little shady out here. This footage will never end up on the internet if my phone dies in the next minute or so. So I'm... So... Holy Holy f Holy f Holy f Holy f Oh my god. My adrenaline just went next level. I was trying to say, I'm going through the Italian mob lands right now. Pitch black in the darkness, trying to find this pizza place. I'm probably gonna take a taxi back. This is shady as fuck right now. The only way I could get here though, was going at night, cause it opens hella late. I just hope I get there without getting mugged. I'm just trying to hustle my ass. Oh, holy I might have to start running. Okay, so 15 minutes into this little trek to Zaforno's, uh, I'm not sure if it's even 
impossible to get here without a car. Literally, the path just ended right here. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it cool, get to the pizza place, eat the pizza, turn around, and run to my hotel. At this point, the prospect of me surviving the night is not looking too good right now. Okay, guys, I finally made it to the esteemed and hallowed grounds we call Soforno. Now, I'm going to have the meal of my life. And after browsing through their holy menu, my decision was made. Ciao. Is this pretty good right here? Cachapita? Is it like the best? Yes. Okay, what would any other suggestions be? Super margarita. All right, I'll get those two then. And can I get some water too? Yes. Do you think this is the best in the world, this pizza right here? Yes? Okay, that was it. Appreciate it. Well, folks, a lot of expectations for this place to live up to. Hopefully it does. All right, folks, it's time we chow. Crust right here, delicious. And of course, the second greatest pizza in the world. Today we dine. Not sure what this is, but it looks good. All right, I'm going for it. A lot of oils on this thing, I gotta say. Oily as balls. The crust, superb. Visually right here, quite aesthetically appealing, I gotta say. But does it have the taste? Let's find out, shall we? And I hate to say it, but after chowing down on this pizza for a solid 30 minutes, it was nothing more than eh. Okay. It basically tastes like a regular tomato pizza. Probably could have expected that. I rank it a seven out of 10. This is the U cheese pizza. This is like their ultimate specialty. We're going in for round two, slice number two, baby. We begin. It's a lot of cheese, man. Maybe a little too much cheese. I definitely prefer the margarita pizza over this one. Perhaps my palate is just not sophisticated enough to appreciate it, to be honest. And to satisfy your visual qualms, here's what the pizzas looked like. Thank you. Grazie, ciao. 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 All right, we officially knocked the best pizza in the world off the list. It's time to survive the night and get back to my shady little hotel. Siforno, ciao. And here's my honest review once I finally made it out of the restaurant. Are you freaking kidding me? You wanna see something interesting? I just got back from my meal. The greatest pizza in the world, they said it would be. Look how much this sucker cost me. 13 euros for the pizza with the cheese on it, 10 euros for the super margarita, and two euros for water. Are you freaking kidding me? Two euros for water? I didn't even ask them for water. And can I get some water too? Yes. Two bones for water seems a bit usurious in my opinion, but who am I to judge the greatest pizza establishment in the world? Or is it? That's right. Let's take a look at this pizza objectively with no judging eyes around me so I can be straight up and to the facts. So I brought home their famous little cheese pizza here. Just look at this thing. I paid 13 euros for this and it's not bad or anything. It's just a mound of white cheese. Some special U cheese and it's supposed to be some Italian delicacy apparently but the only thing I tasted was instant diarrhea in the next 30 minutes if you catch my drift not to be too harsh or anything but it tasted like a breadstick to me would I pay money for it back where I'm from absolutely not no offense to them but I'm appalled that I actually traveled across the world to taste this not that it's horrible but best in the world that's laughable and secondly, the margherita pizza. Now this is like the equivalent of a pepperoni pizza from Little Caesars minus the pepperonis, just the sauce that instantly falls off when you pick it up. I picked it up just a little bit, just a little bit of gravity at play, literally everything just oozes off. And that includes like a pound of oil, disgusting. Now I don't know if this pound of oil is customary for the pizza, but back in the States, if I saw that oil, I would've got a napkin, I would've soaked it up a little bit, and that would've been that, to be honest. The cost really is comparable to like anything in the States, so the cost wasn't the deal breaker. It's just the fact that I had extremely high expectations for a pizzeria in Italy, much less one heralded as the greatest pizzeria in the world. To be honest, this really puts things into perspective. For one, perhaps my palate is not advanced enough to recognize the beauty of this Epicurean delicacy. I doubt that, but it very well could be a possibility. Secondly, my takeaway from this pizza experience is perception is reality and some people perceive things differently. For instance, since they perceived this pizza to taste actually really good, whereas I didn't, and I found it quite mediocre, if that. And keep in mind, I went through hell and back to get this pizza. I was traversing through the Italian mob boss ganglands just to see one slice of this thing, and I brought home eight uneaten slices. So if that doesn't tell you my opinion on the pizza, I don't know what does. The food that Gordon Ramsay would most likely bust a nut over on a good day, it doesn't always taste good. High tier foodies are into some odd tasting things for the sake of 
culture and sophistication. Same thing with wine. All these luxury consumerist art forms that people eat. Regrettably, I traveled 6,212 miles on plane. I've been here for two days and I finally got that slice of pizza. So, was it worth it? No, it wasn't worth it. I could have gotten Little Caesars for $5 a pizza. Anyways though, I'm gonna fly back to the United States. And I flew back to the United States and completed the circle of life. Hi there, can I order one pizza delivery, please? Okay, uh, do you need my address? Yes, no, what do you order? What is the, uh, what you, are you? Yeah, I'm just ordering a pizza delivery. No. What do you mean? Mountain Mike's, right? Huh? This is Mountain Mike's, correct? No, Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr.? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh. If you want to give me free the pizza, don't mind. Fuck! <laughs>